Watch as zombies fail hard at jumping, really hard. Learn how to construct a base so fundamental it will work across all stages of the game, from a simple early game reliable design to a towering behemoth exploiting the great simplicity of the core design. Let's begin. Welcome survivors, this is Eerie Knight of the Pseudo Posse. One of the most basic core principles one can incorporate into a base design is forcing zombies to jump up blocks. Many use this approach to create a pathway to their fighting platform as it serves well in both providing a path and slowing down zombies. However, this design does not take advantage of the weaknesses prevalent in zombies jumping, that is, their landing. Not quite so elegant. Depending on the blocks used, zombies will fall to the ground after jumping, which by my estimation is better than simply slowing them down as needing to repeat the path is even slower, and also prevents many of them from ever reaching you. Sounds good to me. Instead of using a series of stack cube meter blocks, we'll use some pillar blocks, 0.5 meter blocks to be exact, and pillar 0.025 meter blocks, the full and half size variants. As with the cube meter, blocks will force zombies to continuously jump up to us by stacking the 0.5 meter blocks one block higher for each consecutive column. However, we leave a gap in between such that zombies will jump up and need to land on the very narrow 0.025 meter blocks. Naturally, they'll have a better chance of landing on the full block variant and we'll use those at the bottom such that more can progress further up. If many fail to get up higher, they'll simply fall low to the ground and repeat this very small loop extremely quickly, which will lead to crowding issues and zombies beating on blocks and collapsing our path, so no bueno. Further up, we'll use the one block variant, which is tougher for the zombies to land upon due to the gap. These are positioned higher up so zombies will fall down below, forcing them to run back to the beginning. Feel free to increase the gap between the 0.5 meter blocks if you want a longer path in between. Making them shorter as well even works. You do have other options instead of the 0.025 meter block. For other candidates, I suggest you check out our 21 alpha 21 blocks video that forced zombies to fall. Link in the description below. Anyways, so this design is extremely effective, easy to build, and doesn't require a lot of material investment. It will work immediately on your first horde night and for several nights to come. Just make sure to add a roof once those pesky vultures start to spawn or feel the wrath of their beaks. Ouch. As you progress in game stage to more difficult hordes, you'll want to scale up your design. Definitely roof coverage as previously mentioned. You'll also want redundant pathways up to your location in case any fail. So this is one such base using the pillars as a part of the core design. Let's walk through to show how to set it up. Don't worry worry, it is quite simple. First thing, create your fighting platform or your lazy platform if you plan on AFKing. Here I decided to go with something a bit smaller, 5x5. Five five. To protect ourselves against raging zombies that fall from the pillars, we're going to place cube 0.5.25 round inside blocks around our platform to prevent zombies from hitting our main tower. This is elevated above the ground as zombies do not see these blocks as a path and if placed directly over the ground, they will walk over it. I would recommend making this at least two blocks wide, three is probably safe for overkill. As this elevated platform will serve as our ground floor where zombies will climb up the pillars and then fall repeating the loop, we need to construct a way for them to get up to this point. To cover all the directions that the horde can potentially spawn, they change spawn location every two hours generally speaking, we want to give them easy access up to the platform. Otherwise, they may start beating on the supports if they have to travel too far. Thus, we place four stairs on each edge of the platform from the platform to the ground. You'll also note we built out the platform around the orange round inside blocks to give a place to position our pillar blocks that they will ultimately use to path up to us. Because of the sheer number of zombies we will have at a late game stage horde, I want to make the entry point to the sequence of pillar columns larger to account for greater numbers. Last thing I want is for all of them to fight for the right to start climbing. Meanwhile, the rest are bored out of their mind, destroying everything in sight. I decided to place two sets of grand staircases in opposing corners on this platform. This way, any zombies coming up any two pairs of stairs have access to stairs up to the pillars. I'll construct the staircase case by first stacking a bunch of cube meter blocks. We'll follow that up with the stairs filled shape, the stairs filled diagonal too along the, wait for it, diagonal, and we shall use their stair fills corner to fill in the missing block on our left side here. And voila, we got ourselves a nice opening staircase for zombies to flood through. Feel free to design this part any way you like. This next part is a piece of cake. From the stairs, I will construct a series of pillars that will route zombies around to the main pillar pathway. This will be done for both staircases. To construct this, we'll use the same pillar 0.5 meter shapes and the one meter six way shape, which I think works as a very attractive junction kind of block. Last but not least, we shall use the pipe corner to round out the turns. Once done, it should look something like this here. You'll notice we have two routes for each staircase to create ample flow for the zombies, as well as built in redundancy. Plus it is symmetric and looks cool as shit. 
Next up is the pillar columns as shown in the early base design. Same principle, except instead of a straight line, we are crisscrossing around and make it fit on the platform. To construct this segment, we'll place pillar columns of incrementally increasing height to route the zombies up to the main tower where we'll be staying. Very easy, not much to do it. Make the route in any pattern you like, and you can vary the gap in between pillar columns to be as long as you'd like. All up to your preference and the space you're working with. Next, we'll place all the narrow pillar blocks as path between the pillar columns. As we did with the early horde base, we'll place them in the same way. Ultimately, we will do the same pattern built off of each of the four pillar routes coming up from the corner staircases. For those keeping track, that is four pathways the zombies can travel up to us. The rest is trivial. The main functional part of the base is done. You can construct the central tower however you like. I decided to go simple and I capped it off with a blade trap to trim the beaks off of any vultures that dare try to peck my brains out. So in summary, for those that skipped the video up to this point, zombies walk up the stairs from the ground from any of the four sides. They'll run up the corner staircases over any of the four pillar routes and then must traverse up the pathway by running over narrow half-sized pillar blocks and jumping over the 0.5 meter pillar columns. More likely than not, they'll fumble the landing, fall, possibly rage like a rebellious teenager against their parents, calm down and repeat the loop. Easy peasy, lemon squeezily. Now let me go get Taco Bear so I can amaze her with my latest build. Oh, that's cool. I like the jumping. Oh. Oh, this is how you enter, I see. Figure it out? Yep. That's why I don't need base tour. I can figure out myself. Oh, I like this cage. Good color choice. Yep. Did you use this in your AFK4? I did. I have a very good in a very, memory. In a very limited way, yeah, very good memory for you. Hey. What do you mean for me? I mean exactly what I said. <laughs> You did a really good job this one i really like the design unique thank you good job i tried to use some different blocks it's very easy just like all the pillars you know jump 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 yeah it's very simple core concept you know very easy to build yeah that's the whole point okay okay let's do it all right ah <laughs> jesus all right Oh, here they come. Yep, demolisher. 
Yep, so this base can be done either AFK or actively defending. So I think we'll just let them roam around for a little bit just to showcase what happens. And then we can uh, do some shooting and attacking and stuff. There are so many awkward there. They don't even move me. They don't really follow your pass. They are swarming quite a bit. I gotta kill some of them. No, they're confused. I don't really like this base. Hey. They all grouped up there. No, can you answer this question for me? Say. Why are they all grouped there instead of moving? Uh, they're just all getting stuck on each other. That's why I'm trying to kill them a bit faster so they can be less bunched up. Oh, look at all the fire. Oh. Look at that. That, re that really sold them up. I did. They really like that corner. They really do like that corner. They, some of them are on this side. This side's less bunched up, so they're they're following the path better. Oh, do we have a visitor outside? Yeah, jumper guy. Cool. I really like that corner. I really do. Like they're so confused here. It's not that they're confused. It's just that they um, are all so eager to get to us that they're all just going the same way. No, I don't buy that logic. No, because they're all trying to get on that, that one path, but they're all like getting stuck on each other. So if you look at like the other corner where there's less of them, they're just kind of running around like they're supposed to be doing because there's not as many of them. Hey, Whoa. <laughs> careful, my dear, with all your um, Molotovs. I'm the biggest enemy, I think. Yeah, <laughs> you're like the demo activator. Wow, look at that. They really love that corner. I think that's because that corner is a bit weak now. No, it not, has nothing to do with like them trying to like get to me as far as it like being weak or strong. Oh, I think oh, they, uh, they moved their they moved their corner choice. Yep, because a, a demo destroyed a block that broke the path. Uh, so mm. I broke a pass. Correct. You had four paths, right? Yep, I mean you just took two of them out. Two or just one? You took two because two oh. is connected to each staircase. Oh, oh, there. So try not to activate any more demos, please. I'm being okay. very careful with my shooting. <laughs> I'm pretty much just ignoring them, not really aiming at them per se. Maids and shit. <laughs> oh, you made it. We made it. I did use a lot of concrete blocks, which is why they destroyed things a bit more. The, the idea was to make a base that uh, is easy to make and is not very, like, very resource intensive. Mm -hmm. But uh, the base did hold up. The one path was definitely destroyed. Um, this path was getting destroyed, but it did last through the night. 
Yeah, so if I think, uh, I, I if I were going to, to tweak this base for mm -hmm. like a day 7,000 hoard, what I would do is I would expand the size of the stairs on either side just to yeah. make it so that they don't bunch up quite as much because I guess I underestimated uh, how many would go for one corner. I thought they would more evenly split, but apparently they're all no. mostly just going for one. So, Definitely not, yeah. Yeah, so in that case, I think I probably want to at least double the size of those stairs on either side so they mm -hmm. can handle the a larger flow of zombies but you know the mm -hmm. the zombies that were actually following the path you know that they were doing what they were supposed to do and jumping up and then falling down and then repeating but the they got stuck behind the the queue of zombies trying to you know do the repeating of the loop yeah yeah, I think this kind of core design could be used by anybody and uh, just, you know, have fun with it, experiment with it, just uh, make a lot of columns for a late game stage horde base and have at it. Just make many ways for them to come up. Early game, you just need like one or two. Anything left to say, Taco? No, very, very good. Very unique. Just uh, reminded me a lot of the AFK4 video, which I put a lot of efforts. Yeah, GPT-4, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I, I used a section of that for the yeah. main concept of the space rather than just kind of like one of several features. Yeah. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you're about to head out feeling satisfied, stay an extra second and like and subscribe to see more of this type of content on the channel. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for sticking around and watching. And a special thank you to our patrons who support empowers us to create better content for the rest of you all. On that note, see you all next time. Adios.